man is not worried by real problems so much as by his imagined anxieties about real problems. Epictetus Welcome to another enlightening episode of Stoic Wisdom, where we embark on a journey to explore how Stoicism provides us with invaluable insights and strategies for overcoming negative thoughts, reclaiming inner peace, and fostering a mindset of resilience and tranquility. Negative thoughts can be insidious, infiltrating our minds and casting a shadow over our daily experiences. They can erode our confidence, dampen our spirits, and hinder our ability to fully engage with life. But fear not, for Stoicism offers a beacon of light in the darkness, guiding us towards a path of clarity, strength, and serenity. Throughout this episode, we will uncover the root causes of negative thinking, dissect the underlying principles of Stoic philosophy, and unveil practical techniques for banishing negativity from our minds. By drawing upon the wisdom of the Stoics, we can learn to cultivate a mindset of mindfulness, challenge irrational beliefs, cultivate resilience, and embrace gratitude and acceptance as powerful tools for transforming our inner landscape. So join us as we embark on this illuminating journey into the heart of Stoic wisdom, where we will discover how to liberate ourselves from the grip of negative thoughts and embrace a life of greater peace, purpose, and fulfillment. Chapter 1. Understanding the Nature of Negative Thoughts Men are disturbed not by things, but by the view which they take of them. Epictetus In our journey to overcome negative thoughts using Stoic philosophy, it is crucial to first understand their nature and how they influence our perceptions and experiences. Negative thoughts often arise from our interpretations of events, rather than the events themselves. Stoicism teaches us that it is not external circumstances that disturb us, but rather our judgments and reactions to them. Consider a common scenario, you receive constructive criticism at work. While the feedback itself may be neutral, your interpretation of it as a personal failure or inadequacy can lead to feelings of self-doubt and negativity. Stoicism invites us to recognize that our thoughts are within our control and by examining and reframing them, we can transform our emotional responses. Negative thoughts can also stem from cognitive distortions, patterns of thinking that distort our perception of reality. These distortions include black and white thinking, catastrophizing, and personalization, among others. Stoic philosophy encourages us to challenge these distortions by applying reason and logic, thereby gaining a more accurate and balanced perspective. Moreover, negative thoughts often arise from attachments and aversions, our desires for things to be a certain way or our fears of them not being so. Stoicism teaches us to cultivate indifference to external outcomes, focusing instead on what is within our control, our thoughts, attitudes, and actions. By understanding the nature of negative thoughts through the lens of Stoic philosophy, we lay the foundation for effectively addressing them and reclaiming our inner peace and tranquility. In the chapters to come, we will explore practical techniques for transforming negative thinking patterns and cultivating a mindset of resilience and positivity. Chapter 2. Cultivating Mindfulness and Awareness The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts, therefore, Guard accordingly. Marcus Aurelius In our quest to overcome negative thoughts using Stoic principles, mindfulness and awareness serve as indispensable tools for navigating the inner landscape of our minds. Stoicism teaches us to cultivate a heightened sense of awareness, a conscious observation of our thoughts, feelings, and sensations without judgment or attachment. Mindfulness allows us to observe our negative thoughts as they arise, without becoming entangled in them. By developing the ability to witness our thoughts from a place of detachment, we gain greater clarity and insight into their nature and origins. This awareness empowers us to break free from the grip of negative thinking patterns and reclaim control over our mental state. Stoic practices such as meditation, journaling, and self-reflection are powerful tools for cultivating mindfulness and awareness. Meditation trains the mind to focus and quiet the incessant chatter of thoughts, allowing us to cultivate a state of inner calm and presence. 
Journaling provides a space for self-exploration and introspection, enabling us to examine our thoughts and emotions with honesty and clarity. Self-reflection encourages us to pause and examine the underlying beliefs and assumptions that fuel our negative thoughts, thereby opening the door to transformation and growth. Moreover, Stoicism teaches us to embrace the concept of the here and now, the idea that true happiness and fulfillment are found in the present moment. By anchoring ourselves in the present, we can release the grip of past regrets and future anxieties, allowing us to fully engage with life as it unfolds. By cultivating mindfulness and awareness through Stoic practices, we develop the capacity to observe our negative thoughts with curiosity and compassion rather than judgment and resistance. In doing so, we create space for the cultivation of more positive and constructive thought patterns, leading to greater inner peace and contentment. Chapter 3. Challenging Irrational Beliefs Our life is what our thoughts make it. Marcus Aurelius In the pursuit of overcoming negative thoughts using Stoic philosophy, it is imperative to confront and challenge the irrational beliefs that underlie them. Stoicism teaches us that much of our suffering stems from distorted perceptions and irrational judgments about ourselves, others, and the world around us. One of the most common cognitive distortions is black and white thinking, the tendency to see things in extremes, with no middle ground. Stoicism encourages us to challenge this distortion by recognizing the shades of grey in every situation. Instead of viewing events as either entirely good or entirely bad, we can adopt a more nuanced perspective that acknowledges the complexity and variability of life. Another cognitive distortion is catastrophizing, the tendency to imagine the worst possible outcome in any given situation. Stoicism teaches us to confront this distortion by practicing the premeditation of adversity, the deliberate contemplation of potential challenges and setbacks. By mentally preparing ourselves for adversity, we can reduce its power to provoke anxiety and fear. Personalization is yet another common cognitive distortion the tendency to blame ourselves for events that are beyond our control. Stoicism invites us to challenge this distortion by recognizing our inherent worth and dignity as human beings. Rather than internalizing external events as reflections of our personal worth, we can cultivate self-compassion and self-acceptance, knowing that our value is not contingent upon external validation. Stoic philosophy also teaches us to challenge the illusion of certainty, the belief that we can predict and control the future with absolute precision. By embracing the concept of the dichotomy of control, we can distinguish between things that are within our control, our thoughts, attitudes, and actions, and things that are not, external events and other people's behavior. By focusing our energy and attention on what is within our control, we can cultivate a sense of empowerment and agency, even in the face of uncertainty. By challenging irrational beliefs through the lens of Stoic philosophy, we can liberate ourselves from the grip of negative thinking patterns and cultivate a more balanced and resilient mindset. In doing so, we pave the way for greater inner peace, clarity, and contentment in our lives. Chapter 4 Cultivating Virtue and Resilience The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. Marcus Aurelius In our journey to overcome negative thoughts using Stoic principles, cultivating virtue and resilience emerges as a potent antidote to the challenges we encounter. Stoicism teaches us that true happiness and fulfillment lie not in external circumstances, but in the cultivation of virtuous qualities of character and the development of inner resilience. Virtue, in Stoic philosophy, encompasses qualities such as courage, wisdom, temperance, and justice. By focusing on cultivating these virtues, we can transcend the limitations of negative thinking patterns and align our actions with our highest ideals and values. For example, when faced with fear or anxiety, we can cultivate courage, the willingness to confront our fears and take bold action in spite of them. Resilience, likewise, plays a crucial role in overcoming negative thoughts and emotions. 
Stoicism teaches us to view adversity as an opportunity for growth and learning rather than as an insurmountable obstacle. By practicing the premeditation of adversity and mentally preparing ourselves for potential challenges, we can develop the emotional fortitude and resilience to withstand life's inevitable ups and downs with grace and equanimity. Stoic exercises such as this practice of poverty also help us cultivate resilience by fostering an attitude of detachment from external possessions and outcomes. By learning to find contentment and fulfillment within ourselves, rather than in external circumstances, we can cultivate a sense of inner peace and tranquility that is impervious to the fluctuations of fortune. Moreover, Stoicism teaches us to embrace the concept of amor fati, the love of fate. By accepting and embracing whatever life brings our way as an opportunity for growth and learning, we can transcend the limitations of negative thinking patterns and cultivate a mindset of gratitude and acceptance. Through practices such as keeping a gratitude journal or performing acts of kindness and generosity, we can cultivate a sense of abundance and contentment that dissolves negative thoughts and fosters inner peace and serenity. By cultivating virtue and resilience through the lens of Stoic philosophy, we can overcome negative thoughts and emotions and live with greater courage, wisdom and integrity. In doing so, we pave the way for a life of greater peace, purpose and fulfillment. Chapter 5. Practicing Gratitude and Acceptance The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Marcus Aurelius In our pursuit of overcoming negative thoughts using Stoic principles, the practices of gratitude and acceptance emerge as powerful allies on our journey towards inner peace and contentment. Stoicism teaches us that true happiness does not depend on external circumstances, but rather on the quality of our thoughts and attitudes towards life. Gratitude, in Stoic philosophy, is the recognition and appreciation of the blessings and opportunities that abound in our lives, no matter how small or seemingly insignificant. By cultivating gratitude, we shift our focus from what is lacking to what is present and abundant, thereby transforming our perception of reality and fostering a sense of abundance and contentment. Practicing gratitude can take many forms, from keeping a gratitude journal to expressing appreciation for the people and experiences that enrich our lives. By consciously acknowledging and savoring the blessings that surround us, we cultivate a mindset of abundance and positivity that counteracts the negative thinking patterns that often plague us. Acceptance, similarly, plays a crucial role in overcoming negative thoughts and emotions. Stoicism teaches us to embrace the concept of amor fati, the love of fate. By accepting and embracing whatever life brings our way as an opportunity for growth and learning, we can transcend the limitations of negative thinking patterns and cultivate a mindset of resilience and equanimity. Acceptance does not mean resignation or passivity, rather, it is an active choice to embrace reality as it is, rather than as we wish it to be. By relinquishing our attachment to specific outcomes or expectations, we free ourselves from the grip of negative thoughts and emotions and open ourselves up to the possibilities and opportunities that life presents. Moreover, Stoicism teaches us to embrace the concept of the here and now, the idea that true happiness and fulfillment are found in the present moment. By anchoring ourselves in the present, we can release the grip of past regrets and future anxieties, allowing us to fully engage with life as it unfolds. By practicing gratitude and acceptance through the lens of Stoic philosophy, we can overcome negative thoughts and emotions and cultivate a deeper sense of peace, contentment, and fulfillment in our lives. In doing so, we open ourselves up to the transformative power of gratitude and acceptance, paving the way for a life of greater joy, purpose, and authenticity. Chapter 6 In our journey to overcome negative thoughts using Stoic philosophy, it's important to acknowledge that the road ahead may not always be smooth. Despite our best efforts, negative thoughts may still arise from time to time, testing our resolve and challenging our inner peace. During these moments of struggle, it's crucial to remember the fundamental Stoic principle of resilience, the ability to bounce back from adversity with grace and fortitude. 
Stoicism teaches us that setbacks and challenges are not signs of weakness, but opportunities for growth and learning. When faced with negative thoughts, Stoicism offers several practical strategies for cultivating resilience and maintaining inner peace. One such strategy is the practice of reframing, examining our negative thoughts from a different perspective and challenging the validity of our assumptions and beliefs. Another powerful technique is the practice of self-compassion, extending kindness and understanding towards ourselves in moments of difficulty and distress. Stoicism teaches us to treat ourselves with the same compassion and empathy that we would offer to a dear friend, recognizing that we are all imperfect beings striving to navigate the complexities of life. Moreover, Stoicism encourages us to cultivate a sense of detachment from external outcomes and circumstances, recognizing that true happiness and fulfillment come from within, rather than from external validation or success. By focusing on what is within our control, our thoughts, attitudes, and actions, we can cultivate a sense of inner peace and contentment that is impervious to the fluctuations of fortune. Finally, Stoicism invites us to embrace the concept of the inner citadel, the idea that we possess an inner sanctuary of peace and tranquility that can never be breached by external circumstances. By cultivating a sense of inner strength and resilience, we can weather the storms of life with courage and equanimity, knowing that we are capable of facing whatever challenges may come our way. In conclusion, while negative thoughts may pose challenges on our journey towards inner peace and contentment, Stoicism offers a roadmap for navigating these challenges with grace and resilience. By embracing the principles of reframing, self-compassion, detachment, and inner strength, we can overcome negative thoughts and cultivate a deeper sense of peace, purpose, and fulfillment in our lives. Chapter 7 – Cultivating Self-Awareness and Emotional Regulation In our journey to conquer negative thoughts through the lens of Stoicism, we arrive at the crucial intersection of self-awareness and emotional regulation. These pillars serve as the bedrock upon which we build our capacity to navigate the turbulent waters of our inner world with grace and resilience. Self-awareness, often heralded as the cornerstone of personal development, beckons us to turn our gaze inward and observe the intricate tapestry of our thoughts, emotions, and reactions. Stoicism champions this practice, inviting us to cultivate a deep and unwavering awareness of our inner landscape, through introspection and reflection, we come to understand the intricate interplay between our thoughts and emotions, unraveling the tangled threads of negativity that may ensnare our minds. Yet, self-awareness is but the first step on our journey. Armed with the insights gleaned from introspection, we embark on the arduous task of emotional regulation, a skill that Stoicism holds in high esteem. Emotional regulation empowers us to navigate the tumultuous seas of our emotions with finesse and composure, steering our inner vessel towards calmer waters even amidst the stormiest of seas. Stoicism offers a myriad of techniques to cultivate emotional regulation. From the practice of mindfulness meditation, which invites us to anchor ourselves in the present moment and observe our emotions with detachment, to the method of cognitive reframing, which empowers us to challenge and reframe negative thoughts with logic and reason, Stoic philosophy equips us with an arsenal of tools to tame the tempestuous currents of our inner world. Moreover, Stoicism beckons us to cultivate a sense of perspective, a panoramic view of our lives that transcends the narrow confines of our immediate circumstances. By zooming out and viewing our challenges through the lens of the broader human experience, we gain a newfound sense of resilience and fortitude. Our struggles, once looming large and insurmountable, now appear as mere ripples in the vast ocean of existence, ephemeral and fleeting in the grand scheme of eternity. In essence, cultivating self-awareness and emotional regulation allows us to chart a course through the turbulent seas of our inner world with confidence and poise. By embracing these practices, Guided by the timeless wisdom of Stoic philosophy, we harness the power to transcend negativity and cultivate a life of serenity, purpose, and fulfillment. Chapter 8 – The Power of Rational Analysis As we delve deeper into our exploration of Stoic philosophy's guidance on overcoming negative thoughts, 
we uncover the profound significance of rational analysis in our quest for inner peace and tranquility. Stoicism teaches us that our thoughts have the power to shape our reality. By subjecting our negative thoughts to rational analysis, we can dismantle their stronghold on our minds and pave the way for more constructive and empowering beliefs. Rational analysis involves critically examining the validity of our negative thoughts and beliefs through the lens of logic and reason. It prompts us to question the evidence and assumptions that underpin our negative thinking patterns, challenging their accuracy and relevance. For example, if we find ourselves consumed by thoughts of inadequacy or self-doubt, rational analysis encourages us to scrutinize the evidence supporting these beliefs. Are our perceptions based on objective reality, or are they distorted by cognitive biases and irrational fears? By shining the light of reason on our negative thoughts, we can uncover their fallacies and inconsistencies, freeing ourselves from their grip. Moreover, rational analysis empowers us to reframe our perspective on challenging situations, viewing them through a more balanced and objective lens. Stoicism teaches us to embrace the concept of the view from above, the ability to rise above our immediate circumstances and adopt a broader perspective on life's challenges. By distancing ourselves from the emotional intensity of our negative thoughts and emotions, we gain clarity and insight into their true nature, enabling us to respond with wisdom and equanimity. In addition to challenging our negative thoughts, rational analysis also empowers us to cultivate more constructive and empowering beliefs. Stoicism encourages us to adopt a growth mindset, the belief that our abilities and intelligence are not fixed but can be developed through effort and perseverance. By cultivating a growth mindset, we foster resilience and optimism in the face of adversity, empowering us to overcome obstacles and achieve our goals. In essence, rational analysis serves as a powerful tool for overcoming negative thoughts and fostering a mindset of clarity, resilience and empowerment. By subjecting our thoughts to the scrutiny of reason, we can transcend the limitations of negativity and embrace a life of greater peace, purpose and fulfillment. Chapter 9 – The Practice of Acceptance and Letting Go In our exploration of Stoic philosophy's wisdom in overcoming negative thoughts, we encounter the transformative power of acceptance and letting go. Stoicism teaches us that true freedom and inner peace lie in our ability to accept life as it unfolds without resistance or attachment to outcomes beyond our control. Acceptance is not resignation or passivity, rather, it is an active choice to embrace reality as it is, rather than as we wish it to be. Stoicism invites us to cultivate an attitude of amor fati, the love of fate, whereby we embrace whatever life brings our way as an opportunity for growth and learning. Central to the practice of acceptance is the recognition of the dichotomy of control, the distinction between things that are within our control and those that are not. Stoicism teaches us to focus our energy and attention on what is within our control, our thoughts, attitudes, and actions, while relinquishing attachment to external outcomes beyond our influence. Letting go is another key aspect of the practice of acceptance. Stoicism encourages us to release our attachment to desires, expectations, and outcomes, recognizing that clinging to them only leads to suffering and discontent. By letting go of our attachment to specific outcomes, we free ourselves from the tyranny of negative thoughts and emotions, paving the way for greater peace and equanimity. Moreover, Stoicism teaches us to cultivate a sense of detachment from external possessions and circumstances, recognizing that true happiness and fulfillment come from within, rather than from external sources. By cultivating inner contentment and tranquility, we can navigate life's challenges with grace and resilience, knowing that our sense of worth and well-being is not contingent upon external validation or success. In essence, the practice of acceptance and letting go empowers us to transcend the limitations of negative thoughts and emotions and embrace a life of greater peace, purpose, and fulfillment. By embracing the teachings of Stoic philosophy, we can cultivate a mindset of acceptance and resilience, enabling us to navigate life's challenges with grace and dignity. Chapter 10 – Embracing Impermanence and Equanimity 
As we journey deeper into Stoic philosophy's guidance on overcoming negative thoughts, we encounter the profound wisdom of embracing impermanence and cultivating equanimity. Stoicism teaches us that all things in life are transient and subject to change, and that true peace and contentment come from embracing this fundamental truth with grace and acceptance. Impermanence is a central tenet of Stoic philosophy, reminding us that nothing in life is permanent or guaranteed. By embracing the impermanent nature of existence, we free ourselves from the grip of attachment and desire, and cultivate a deeper sense of gratitude and appreciation for the present moment. Stoicism encourages us to reflect on the impermanence of all things, the fleeting nature of pleasure, the inevitability of change, and the certainty of death. By contemplating the impermanence of life, we gain a newfound appreciation for its beauty and fragility, and are inspired to live each moment with greater presence and intention. Equanimity, or a state of calm and balanced composure, emerges as a natural consequence of embracing impermanence. Stoicism teaches us to cultivate equanimity by accepting life's ups and downs with grace and equanimity, knowing that both joy and sorrow are transient experiences that arise and pass away in their own time. Moreover, Stoicism encourages us to practice the view from above, the ability to rise above our immediate circumstances and adopt a broader perspective on life's challenges. By distancing ourselves from the emotional intensity of our experiences, we gain clarity and insight into their true nature, enabling us to respond with wisdom and equanimity. In essence, embracing impermanence and cultivating equanimity empower us to overcome negative thoughts and emotions and embrace a life of greater peace, purpose, and fulfillment. By embracing the teachings of Stoic philosophy, we can navigate life's challenges with grace and resilience and live with a deep sense of gratitude and contentment for the precious gift of existence. Chapter 11. Finding Meaning in Adversity In our exploration of Stoic philosophy's guidance on overcoming negative thoughts, we encounter the profound concept of finding meaning in adversity. Stoicism teaches us that challenges and setbacks are not obstacles to be avoided, but opportunities for growth, learning, and the cultivation of virtue. Adversity, in all its forms, serves as a crucible for testing our character and resilience. Stoicism invites us to embrace adversity as a teacher, guiding us towards greater wisdom, strength, and inner peace. By reframing our perception of challenges as opportunities for growth, we can transform adversity into a catalyst for positive change and personal development. Moreover, Stoicism teaches us to cultivate resilience, the ability to bounce back from setbacks with grace and fortitude. Rather than allowing adversity to defeat us, we can harness its transformative power to emerge stronger, wiser, and more resilient than before. Central to the practice of finding meaning in adversity is the concept of the inner citadel, the idea that we possess an inner sanctuary of peace and tranquility that can never be breached by external circumstances. Stoicism teaches us to cultivate this inner fortress through the practice of virtue and mindfulness, enabling us to withstand life storms with courage and equanimity. Furthermore, Stoicism encourages us to embrace the concept of post-traumatic growth, the idea that adversity can lead to profound personal transformation and growth. By embracing our struggles and integrating them into our life narrative, we can transcend the limitations of negative thinking patterns and cultivate a deeper sense of meaning and purpose. In essence, finding meaning in adversity empowers us to overcome negative thoughts and emotions and embrace a life of greater resilience, purpose, and fulfillment. By embracing the teachings of Stoic philosophy, we can navigate life's challenges with grace and dignity, and emerge stronger and more resilient than ever before. Chapter 12 or The Path of Virtue As we delve deeper into Stoic philosophy's guidance on overcoming negative thoughts, we encounter the path of virtue as a transformative approach to navigating life's challenges with grace and integrity. Virtue, in Stoicism, is the cornerstone of a well-lived life. It encompasses qualities such as wisdom, courage, temperance, and justice, and serves as a guiding light in our quest for inner peace and fulfillment. By cultivating virtue, we align our thoughts, actions, 
and values with the highest ideals of human excellence, transcending the limitations of negative thinking patterns and embracing a life of purpose and integrity. Courage, in particular, emerges as a central virtue in the Stoic quest for overcoming negative thoughts. Stoicism teaches us that true courage is not the absence of fear, but the ability to act in spite of it. By summoning the courage to confront our fears and insecurities head-on, we can transcend the limitations of negativity and embrace life with boldness and resilience. Moreover, Stoicism teaches us to cultivate wisdom, the ability to discern what is truly important in life and act in accordance with our highest values and principles. By cultivating wisdom, we gain insight into the nature of our negative thoughts and emotions and develop the clarity and discernment to overcome them with grace and equanimity. Temperance, or self-discipline, also plays a crucial role in overcoming negative thoughts. Stoicism teaches us to cultivate self-discipline by mastering our desires and impulses and aligning our actions with our highest ideals and values. By exercising self-discipline, we free ourselves from the grip of negative habits and compulsions and cultivate a greater sense of inner peace and freedom. Finally, justice, the virtue of treating others with fairness, kindness, and compassion serves as a guiding principle in our interactions with the world. Stoicism teaches us that true happiness and fulfillment come not from selfish pursuits, but from living in harmony with others and contributing to the greater good. By cultivating justice in our thoughts and actions, we create a ripple effect of positivity and kindness that transcends the limitations of negativity and fosters a deeper sense of connection and belonging. In essence, the path of virtue empowers us to overcome negative thoughts and emotions and embrace a life of greater courage, wisdom and integrity. By embracing the teachings of Stoic philosophy, we can navigate life's challenges with grace and dignity and live with a deep sense of purpose and fulfillment. Chapter 13. The Practice of Mindful Detachment In our exploration of Stoic philosophy's guidance on overcoming negative thoughts, we encounter the transformative practice of mindful detachment. Stoicism teaches us that true liberation from the grip of negativity lies in our ability to cultivate a state of inner peace and equanimity through detachment from external outcomes and attachments. Mindful detachment involves cultivating a sense of inner tranquility and freedom by releasing our attachment to external possessions, outcomes, and expectations. Stoicism teaches us to embrace the concept of the dichotomy of control, the idea that there are things in life that are within our control and things that are beyond our control. By focusing our energy and attention on what is within our control, our thoughts, attitudes and actions, we can cultivate a sense of inner peace and contentment that is impervious to the fluctuations of external circumstances. Moreover, Stoicism teaches us to cultivate a sense of indifference to external outcomes, recognizing that true happiness and fulfillment come from within, rather than from external validation or success. By releasing our attachment to specific outcomes and expectations, we free ourselves from the tyranny of negative thoughts and emotions and open ourselves up to the possibilities and opportunities that life presents. The practice of mindful detachment also involves cultivating a sense of acceptance and surrender to the present moment. Stoicism teaches us to embrace the concept of amor fati, the love of fate, whereby we accept whatever life brings our way as an opportunity for growth and learning. By surrendering to the flow of life and embracing the present moment with open arms, we cultivate a sense of inner peace and equanimity that transcends the limitations of negativity and fosters a deeper sense of connection to the world around us. In essence, the practice of mindful detachment empowers us to overcome negative thoughts and emotions and embrace a life of greater peace, purpose, and fulfillment. By embracing the teachings of Stoic philosophy, we can cultivate a mindset of mindfulness and detachment, enabling us to navigate life's challenges with grace and dignity and live with a deep sense of inner peace and contentment. Chapter 14. The Art of Self-Compassion In our quest to overcome negative thoughts using Stoic philosophy, we encounter the transformative power of self-compassion. 
Stoicism teaches us that true strength and resilience arise not from self-criticism or harsh judgment, but from kindness, understanding, and acceptance towards ourselves. Self-compassion involves extending the same kindness, understanding, and support to ourselves that we would offer to a dear friend facing similar challenges. It requires us to recognize our common humanity, to acknowledge that we are all imperfect beings, struggling to navigate the complexities of life with grace and dignity. Stoicism encourages us to cultivate self-compassion through practices such as self-reflection, mindfulness, and self-care. By taking the time to pause and check in with ourselves, we can become aware of the negative thoughts and emotions that may arise, and respond to them with kindness and understanding. Moreover, Stoicism teaches us to cultivate mindfulness, the ability to observe our thoughts and feelings without judgment or attachment. By cultivating mindfulness, we can create space for self-compassion to flourish, allowing us to respond to our struggles with kindness and acceptance, rather than self-criticism or resistance. Self-care also plays a crucial role in cultivating self-compassion. Stoicism teaches us to prioritize our physical, emotional, and mental well-being, recognizing that self-care is not selfish, but essential for our overall health and happiness. By taking the time to nurture ourselves through activities such as exercise, rest, and creative expression, we can replenish our energy and cultivate a deeper sense of self-compassion and resilience. In essence, the art of self-compassion empowers us to overcome negative thoughts and emotions and embrace a life of greater peace, purpose, and fulfillment. By embracing the teachings of Stoic philosophy and cultivating self-compassion in our daily lives, we can navigate life's challenges with grace and dignity and live with a deep sense of inner peace and contentment. Chapter 15. Cultivating Gratitude and Resilience as we near the conclusion of our journey through Stoic philosophy's wisdom on overcoming negative thoughts, we turn our focus to the transformative practices of gratitude and resilience. Stoicism teaches us that cultivating gratitude and resilience empowers us to transcend the limitations of negativity and embrace life with greater joy, purpose, and fulfillment. Gratitude is a powerful antidote to negative thoughts and emotions. Stoicism encourages us to cultivate gratitude by focusing our attention on the blessings and opportunities that abound in our lives, no matter how small or seemingly insignificant. By shifting our perspective from what is lacking to what is present, we cultivate a mindset of abundance and appreciation that dissolves negative thoughts and fosters inner peace and contentment. Resilience, likewise, plays a crucial role in overcoming negative thoughts. Stoicism teaches us to view adversity as an opportunity for growth and learning rather than as an insurmountable obstacle. By cultivating resilience, we develop the inner strength and fortitude to navigate life's challenges with grace and equanimity, knowing that we have the capacity to overcome whatever obstacles may arise. Moreover, Stoicism encourages us to embrace the concept of the here and now, the idea that true happiness and fulfillment are found in the present moment. By anchoring ourselves in the present, we can release the grip of past regrets and future anxieties, allowing us to fully engage with life as it unfolds. In essence, cultivating gratitude and resilience empowers us to overcome negative thoughts and embrace a life of greater peace, purpose, and fulfillment. By embracing the teachings of Stoic philosophy and integrating gratitude and resilience into our daily lives, we can navigate life's challenges with grace and dignity and live with a deep sense of inner peace and contentment. As we conclude this episode on overcoming negative thoughts using Stoic philosophy, let us reflect on the profound wisdom we have explored together. Through the timeless teachings of Stoicism, we have discovered the transformative power of acceptance, resilience, and self-compassion in transcending the limitations of negativity and embracing a life of greater peace, purpose, and fulfillment. May we carry these teachings with us on our journey forward, navigating life's challenges with grace and dignity and embracing each moment with gratitude and resilience. And may we remember that true happiness and fulfillment come not from external circumstances, but from the cultivation of virtue, mindfulness, and inner peace. 
Thank you for joining us on this journey of exploration and discovery. Until next time, may you continue to walk the path of Stoic wisdom with courage, wisdom, and integrity.